I think I'm definitely going to like this elder spot better than the other one. Oh. That looked like a Draugr over there. Uh, oh, shit. There's a Draugr over here. And he's a big one, too. Welcome back, everybody, to Valheim. In this episode, we are going to build our carve, our first sailing vessel, and then go on a voyage um, after we build our dock. So <laughs> that's the first thing we're going to do. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and jump right on in and get started with this. So we're going to grab this, and I think what I will do first is... Let's uh, let's expand this out to one more uh, level here, or uh, tile rather, I should say. Okay, good. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, we're out of range here. Let's put some steps on each side here. And then, um, we don't have actual rails in the game. I, I know we can make them with the poles. Right, okay. Speaking of which, I'd, I'd like to use core wood for the, at least for the main piers, because I think it looks good. Um, maybe up here, though, we'll use, we'll just use these. Trying to get that to. All right, let's. Oh, oh, that's the problem. I'm out of range again. All right, no, I guess that's not gonna do it. Do it. Can we? I'm surprised it wouldn't let me put that longer one there. Let's try this again. It's not wanting to snap on that corner for some reason. All right, what if we did this? What if we... Okay, that's snapping. And then now can we put the big one under it? Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's probably a good thing anyways because then we can use the shorter one, you know, as our railing. Perfect. Okay, good. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to go down a level. <clears throat> and uh, I think we'll just use stairs for that because I don't like the, the ladder thingies. Maybe we'll go three wide and we'll go down to here. And we're out of range. Okay. Um, I'm just going to put some wood in my inventory so we don't have to try and stay in range of this thing. So we'll grab a stack of, uh, or however much core wood I have. We don't need normal wood for this boat, right? It's just, uh, yeah, it's just fine wood. Okay. Okay. Let's put a support there, a support there. Uh, I don't think we need one in the middle. Now, if we kept going down, Are we gonna run into clipping vegetation? We are going to a little bit right there. 
I mean, I know I could remove that with my hoe, but then it would just make a dirt spot. That might not be a big deal, though, actually. In fact, on second thought, you know what I might do instead? Um... Yeah, let's, let's get the hoe out, but let's go down lower and do something like this. And I want to kind of carve all of this back here a bit. And that takes care of our vegetation issue, too. Let's go all the way to here. That gives us a little bit of room to come in to the to the pier. We might um, we're probably going to actually though have to might have to dig it dig it down a little bit too with our pick, just so the keel will clear the bottom. Yeah, why don't we um, why don't we do that? Why don't we get our pick out and dig this down even further? Maybe starting right here. All right, I'm guessing that's probably going to be good enough. Go ahead and repair our pick here. And we'll put start putting this down here. I think we'll go I don't remember exactly how long the ship is. It's not huge, not like a long boat, but it's Okay, we're going to need a support there. Let's try that and see if that'll be long enough. Okay, now I want to put... That's, a, that's the short one, isn't it? Can I get you to... Uh, oh, I just had it a second ago. Uh, right there. Perfect. Okay. Now, let's do the same thing on this side. That one went right in. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's build it out another... This is... This is probably all the further out we need to go. Okay. Now let's get a long pull. Got one on that side. One on that side. And one there and one there. Good. Um, now. No, I think I'm going to go back to normal wood for the rails. Missing requirement. What? Oh, missing normal wood. 
Okay. Um, okay. I'm going to I'm going to wait to put any front rails on until um, I see how long the ship is. Wait a second. How is that three and this one's only two? going on here oh this isn't centered that's right because this is a gate um okay, let's pick all of this up here Snap spot there. Let me use a, a longer one. I guess that hopefully that's registering is in the ground. I mean, it is partially in the ground anyway. Okay, and then what we need to do is put you there, you there, grab this guy, you can probably take that out and then we just need to extend the dock one more this way and then it then it'll be right it's funny how sometimes you don't realize something's off until you start building and then it's like, wait a minute, this isn't coming together the way I was expecting it to. Oh, shit. Let's do this, um, the same little thing over here. Looks good. We could also trim the dock like this too. Yeah, we need more wood. Um, you know, just so it kind of gives it like a, a bumper for the ship to, uh, you know, when it comes in, it hits the, the dock. There we go. I'm liking that. Ah, uh, let's see. How about if we also missing requirement? Oh, I'm out of range again. We'll put some torches out here too, so we have lighting in case we come in it at night in the dark.
There. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna wait till it gets dark and see how bright this is. I might put one in each one of these corners too, but we'll see. Okay, I think we're ready to actually build the ship now. Let's take this and move it further down here because it needs to be close to the ship for when we come in for repairs, as I recall. But we'll just stick it right there. Put the ladder side on here. This is as close as it's going to let me get. Hmm. That sits. Uh, that sits down lower than I was expecting. But you know we're a Viking. We can jump out. <laughs> okay, we got carrot seeds over here. Have you been tearing up my carrots, you little motherfucker? Oh, that bastard. We had a whole patch of carrots here. Carrot seeds. He must have broken them. I mean, I, where, where else would they have gone? Oh, that is frustrating. Son of a bitch. Well, we're getting three seeds per plant, so there's that. There's that. Oh man! I mean, I'm I'm assuming it was him. <laughs> he was right there. Uh, we might need to put a fence around our garden. I don't think any of this stuff's been destroyed. Okay. That's weird. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fence this this part in at least. tell if they're actually how well they're lined up all right is that at, the, at a right angle it looks like it is okay keep the bad bads out um I, again i mean i didn't see him break those i'm just assuming that he did because they were gone you know uh okay so let's go let's go get our cultivator it does answer my other question though um they def they come up as as carrots and not uh, uh, uh no sorry they come up and you have to replant them they don't replenish it's kind of weird how these snap is there can i turn snapping off toggle snapping options left shift that, uh that doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, well, kind of does. It's very picky about the distance away that it is. Oh, we're out of seeds. Okay. All right, so we planted one two, three, four 
um, groupings of four. So there should be 16 of these plants when those mature. If there's, if they're gone, if they're gone, something's weird. Uh, because this is a mod. So, uh, what the hell did I do that for? This is a mod, you know, so it could be buggy. But we'll see what happens. Oh, man, that sucks, though. We lost a lot of carrots. Like a fuck ton of carrots. Pisses me off. <sighs> Alright. I'll probably... What I'll probably end up doing is I'll probably just go pick a bunch more in the wild because I, you know, I marked a whole bunch of them. Kind of crappy weather to go sailing, isn't it? Oh, our stuff's done. Oh, we got six. Nice. Okay. So you get six per batch. Very good. All right. We're going to put the healing potions there and the stamina potions there. So they're... Uh, readily available to us on the hotbar. All right, guys. Well, I don't want to set sail on this weather. Um, so what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go cut some wood because we're very low on wood. And uh, when the weather chills out, then we'll come back and we'll set sail. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys. Uh, I think we're ready to set out here. Uh, I went out and cut some wood, and I uh, also set some more furniture, as a table log thingy down here, um, to increase our comfort level. So we're comfort level eight now, or at least we are when we sit over near this thing. Um, so yeah, let's uh, set on out and do our very first sail. And our goal is to see if we can get over to the elder here. And um, we have a. Oh, we have a very small storage in there. Okay. So, do we... Oh, how do we do this? It's been a long time. Use rudder. There we go. Okay. Um, and we just press forward to unfurl the sails. Okay. Yeah, I, it'll take me a little bit to get used to this again. All right, why are we... Okay, this, the sails... The sails should be, like, straight. Why is it not straight? And why is there such a delay? in it turning. <laughs> I obviously forgot how to do this. Uh, and we are going into the wind too, so there's that. Stop! Uh, just, like, stop. It keeps going all the way to the left and all the way to the right. Okay, let's just turn it that much. Oh, right, right. Okay. So, the, I I remember this now. W and S indicate uh, that your speed, how much you unfurl. And I think what the reason things were not behaving so much there is because we had... The wind was pushing against us too, back, too much. I'll, I'll get the hang of this. God help us if we run into a sea serpent, man. Okay. There we go. Oh, this is fun. I love this part of this game. This is amazing. All right, our first sail. Say goodbye to our base. And we're in the ocean. Yeah. So, 
So I think this... Okay, yeah, you know what? I think the sail turns on its own based upon the way the wind's blowing. That's right. Okay. This is all coming back to me now. Oh, this is so fun. <laughs> I love this game so much. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we can zoom out too. Yeah, good. I was going to say, can we zoom out? I hope so. Okay, so we've got a decent wind at the moment. We have some rocks up here we're going to have to watch out for. And of course, the thing about this too is you want to make kind of fine, fine-tuned movements because it it takes a little while for the ship to react to your controls. So you don't want to like overcompensate. Oh, looks like there's a troll's uh, a troll cave out on that island there. All right, let's look at our map. It does not look like we're going to be able to sail. Uh, well, actually, let's let's go this way. We might be able to sail through here. There's such a glare on the screen right now. Look at those fish. I think... I think those must be new creatures since the last time I played the game. It's like there's a puffer fish. Alright, we're sailing into the wind here. But what I want to try and ascertain is if we can actually sail all the way through here. Um, or if it, if we're going to run into land again, because it looks like, I bet you we can actually, because I'm pretty sure this is all coastline right here. Oh, going the wrong way. I love this. Yeah, so that's our, our black forest, the one we've gone through and pretty much mapped all the way out. We need to turn this way a little bit. Um, and we might... Yeah, I, I think furling the sail gives us more maneuverability. Uh, try that again. Maneuverability at the cost of speed. I believe that's how that works. It's kind of slow going right at the moment, though. Yeah, it's like there's red snapper and puffer fish or something in the water. It's interesting now there's not a whole lot of detail even in the fairly near distance. Pretty sure I've got my graphic settings up pretty high. Everything's high, high, very high. Um, is the uh, draw distance level of detail? Let's let's put that on very high and see if we have any problems at all. Oh, yeah, that's better. Much better. Haven't really noticed any performance issues uh, with the game or the server. They seem to be running pretty good overall. Had a couple of stability issues, but that's probably more my some issues I have with my own computer than with the game, I think. Alright, we need to actually head, start heading this way. Which isn't good, because it's right into the frickin' wind. That's right about the heading we want, though. sucks. Let's 
be a bad time for a sea serpent to show up. Okay, let's do this. Let's let's turn this way. And we'll head more in a southerly direction and kind of see if we can zigzag our way over there. See, it's the wind is the wind is in just about the worst possible place it can be because going either direction doesn't gain as much. Okay, we're moving a little bit going like this, so let's just try this. Okay, good. The wind just shifted. Nice. Man, I'm thinking the elder must be really close to the shore. Just kind of, you know, based upon where it's positioned on our little mini map. Land ho! Yep, there he is, right there on the shore. Cool. Alright, let's bring this around. Park it right at the end of this little island area here. You guys knock that off. I don't even have insurance on this yet. Come here. Okay, I think I'm definitely going to like this elder spot better than the other one. Oh, that looked like a Draugr over there. I don't, I don't see any swamp though, unless we just saw Odin. I'll bet you we just saw Odin. Cause I saw a humanoid over here, right over across this creek. I'll have to go back and look at the footage. I, well, I guess it could have been a, a gray dwarf too. Maybe I don't know. It seemed it looked different than that, but it could just be my over active imagination too. So I have one of those. All right, let's uh, make ourselves a crafting bench and uh, make sure our ship is in good repair first before we do anything else. Okay. Very good. We'll just leave that there. Okay, so... The first order of business is to get a portal set up over here. Um, I wished, hmm, wish we had a little more room on this side to maneuver because falling into this water in the fight could be, a, would, would not be good actually. We don't want to get wet because that'll fuck up our stamina. So we'll have to probably just avoid this side as much as we can. Um, is this water deep enough to get us wet wet? Yes, it is. We might want to also 
do something about that too. I think this spot's better than the other spot, but it's certainly not ideal either. Okay. Oh, there's a troll out there. Look at that guy. We need to kill one more troll to get our last cape upgrade. Okay, so that water there is shallow enough for us to walk through without any problems. So I think we'll build a little hut here to put uh, the portal in. Okay, if I put you there. There we go. I just want to make sure the floor is going to clear the stone. We have an enclosed space. Um, uh, let's put a couple torches in here for some lighting. Uh, maybe one in that corner and one in this corner. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to build our portal. Just put it right here. I'm going to ultimately name this portal um, Elder, uh, Elder Boss or whatever. But for now, we're going to set it back to our home portal. Very good. Okay. And I'm going to go through it. Whoops. Uh, to repair our axe. 
and probably sleep too. So we might as well take that back with us. No point in keeping that in there. Um, is there anything else I need to do? I, I want to. I'm going to bring them back a load of tin as well while we're here, since there's a bunch of tin here. But that we'll have to take back in the hold of our ship, because obviously we can't take those through a portal. And whilst we're on this side, we should set up the Elder Portal. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter because we're going to have to take the ship back home anyway. Unless... You know, I could I could just deconstruct the ship, bring it back here and reconstruct it rather than traveling back, but I need I need um tin. So because I need tin, we're still gonna do it that way. Otherwise, yeah, I, I would just deconstruct it and come back through the portal. Okay, I just had to think that through for a second. Um let's put that stuff in there. Okay, so for now, this will be the elder elder portal. And then, you know, I might change it up later. I'm going to call this elder boss just because I don't know if there's another portal named elder too. Of course, if I guess if I tried I guess if I name it elder and it connects, then we know that there's another one named that. Let's see what it does. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't connect, so we're good. Alright, so do we have carrots ready to pick? I think we do. Okay, so we didn't lose the carrots. The, the test, though, will be when we replant them as seeds, if they stick around. Um, if they don't, then we, then I think we have a bug with the mod. If they do, then most likely it was that little neck that destroyed them. Um, it's only 16 carrots. That's not a whole lot. Let's go ahead and sleep. Hey. Come here. Keep telling you kids to stay off my lawn and you won't listen to me. That's what happens. Okay, so, um... I wish carrot soup didn't require three carrots. Uh, 15, 45, 15, 40. I think what I'm going to do is... I'm just going to turn all of these into seeds because I just don't have that many. And I'll probably go off camera and go pick a bunch more carrot seeds in the black forest but for now let's just plant these uh, put, put them all back okay that's all we can do Okay, so we have a total of 16 of those seeds planted, and they're damn where, uh, damn where, damn well, better be 16 later. Because if there isn't, then I'm going to assume that there might be something going on with the mod. But we know, uh, I don't, you know, the bad guys can't get to them because they're protected by the corral or the fence or whatever. 
least that's what I'm thinking. Let's see if we have another batch of honey while we're out here. Uh, only three. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to pick it anyway. Okay, we're going to rename this Elder. There we go. Okay. Alright, so I want to do one more thing before I let you guys go in this episode. We're just going to go um, doctor things up a little bit on the other side of our arena here. Yeah, so we're basically going to try and avoid um, spending too much time on this side. Uh, because it would not be good at all for us to fall in the water during this fight. We need lots of stamina. And the water... You bastard. Uh, the water's going to really screw us up with, uh, with that if we get wet. So what I want to do over here, though, is I want to see if we can raise this up a little bit, too, so... At least it's not so deep that we become submerged and get wet. So we just need to get tin wood. I don't like that there's a, a troll cave this close to the boss either. That's all we would need is for a troll to show up. Oh, shit! There's a Draugr over here! And he's a big one, too! Run away! He's, that was like a three-star! Where the hell did he come from? Oh, shit! Oh, no, he's not a three-star, he's a one-star. Ah, uh, we're dead. <laughs> uh... Okay. I don't know how to get away from this guy. And there's no way we're going to be able to block him. I mean, he's... Yeah, we're, we're just fucked. That's all there is to it. <laughs> there's no getting to... Oh, you bastard. Where the hell did he come from? Oh, my God. That was terrible. At least... At least I know I'm not going crazy, though, because I thought for sure I saw a Draugr when we first arrived here, if you guys remember me saying that. I never went back and checked the footage, either. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, well, let's go see if we can recover our stuff. Thank God we've got a portal over there. I mean, I guess I, I could try to kill him, but... I have a feeling like he'll royally fuck us up. We could maybe try and kill him with flame arrows. Put that on too. Alright. Let's redo our food. Oh, you know what? There is a swamp over there. Right over that way. I can see the trees. That's actually good news. It's just that why did we why do we have to have an elite draugr over here? That is just cruel. Alright, um How much wood do we have? Let's get rid of that. I still need five more pieces of wood. We certainly don't want him showing up while we're trying to fight Elder. I mean that goes without saying, right? Jeez. Let's cut uh, some wood here. I'm trying to be extra cautious because 
case we got his attention. I, I have to say though, I'm, I'm actually glad there's a swamp over here. We did find that other swamp one or two episodes ago, uh, which I need to go back and investigate, but that, that didn't seem to be a, a really large swamp unless it's, you know, bigger than it looked from where we were. Man, it's really foggy out now. Well, let's, uh, let's keep on keeping on here. What I'm going to do is put this down here. Actually, here, let's pull it to about right there. Now, let's see if we can raise up the ground here so it's not in deep water. Even, even if it's just like ankle deep, that's not a big deal, but we don't want it to get submerged during the fight. Okay, that doesn't get us wet there. It slows us down though, so it's still not ideal. Alright, we need some stamina. Alright, let's get some stone. How deep is this water? Definitely deep enough to, to get us wet. So we'll move uh, we'll move our crafting bench over here so I can uh, take care of that too. Okay, this this should be okay over here. Um, let's also just raise this up a little, at least to those boulders there. So we, we shouldn't really be getting that much further away from his arena anyways. Now let's go do a little bit of work over here. Damn Draugr's got me nervous man, I'll tell you what. need a little bit of stone. That's just a, a gray, gray, grayling, gray, gray, gray dwarf. Graylings are the little ones. What? Oh, what did I just do? Oh no. I ate one of my potions on accident. Shit. Oh, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm like totally nervous as hell right now. Okay, let's just flatten that out so we don't trip. And ah, that's good. Good enough. Does this get deep here? Yeah, it does. Let's see if we can fill that in just a little more. And again, uh, this is about as far away as we would ever want to get from the arena. Okay, good. So we've doctored this up. It should, shouldn't be a problem for us um, in terms of getting wet when we do the fight or slowing us down too much. It's just uh, more gray dwarves. Stamina. I still like to know where that Draugr got off to. Oh shit, I did it again. I'm wasting. Maybe I shouldn't have these on my toolbar until we're ready to do an actual boss fight. 
Okay. Well, guys, I think that's going to wrap up this episode here. Uh, what I'm going to do is stay here and get a big old load of tin, and then we'll sail back home with the tin in our ship. And uh, we are pretty close to being ready, I think, to doing the Elder Boss. Maybe even in the next episode. We'll see how things go. Um, but I'm very uh, interested in coming back here, you know, after we do Elder, or even before we do Elder, and investigating the swamp over there. Um, because, you know, that's obviously the next biome we need to start working in after we're done with Elder. And, uh... Just kind of tempted to go over there and take a quick peek, but... I don't think I will right now, because if we run into that Elite again, he will mop the floor with this. But he's, you know, he's going to stay in the area regardless, so we're going to have to deal with him sooner or later. But I'd like to, ooh, excuse me, at least be, you know, a little bit better prepared, I guess, for it. Because that just completely took me by surprise. I wasn't expecting it. All right, so with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch y'all in the next episode. I'm going to go home and repair. Bye.